Final day of the Dubai Desert Classic at the Emirates Golf Club. The man they're trying to catch is Rory McIlroy. He eagled the 10th last night, his final act of a long Saturday, and came out this morning, started in the cool of the morning at the 11th, and immediately rolled in a birdie putt to go to 16 under par to the final hole. He eagled it at the end of round two. He wasn't able to do that this time. But a lovely chip and a chance for another birdie. Temperature getting hotter, and so too is Rory McIlroy. 67, 17 under par, and McIlroy still chasing his first tournament win, although he's lost two playoffs, taking a two-shot lead into the final round, two clear of Oosthuizen, four clear of Justin Rose, and Richard Green, five clear of Paul Casey and Henrik Stenson. So let's move on to the final round, a slightly delayed start, but a fantastic day's golf ahead of us, and it was all about Rory McIlroy. A two-shot lead quickly became a three-shot lead. Wonderful cut at the opening hole. McElroy off and running. Heading the ball a long way for a relatively slight figure. But he's fit, he's strong, and he's long. Another birdie for McElroy. Could he make it three in a row at the par five third? Every chance. His third, looking to knock it close. So Rory McIlroy starts with three consecutive birdies. So let's settle down and enjoy this this final day and the final group on the fifth. But what a performance by Rory McIlroy! We'll hear from Steve Beddoe in a moment. Julian Tuts out with this group though. Another yes. immaculate tee shot from McIlroy. 147 left into the wind. He's going in at every pin and short side himself there. Now, here's a bit of a tester. Really? Bit of a, an error that day, really, missing on that side. First small alarm for him, though. He made a brilliant up and down to save par on the seventh yesterday to maintain his momentum, but not this time. It's the 20th Dubai as a classic. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. That's rather what he did in the final hole in Switzerland, if you remember. Oh, do I ever? Exactly. Didn't need to be so aggressive going for that tight flag. Again, looking to, to birdie every hole, perhaps. You don't need to. Be furious with himself naturally a double bogey out of nothing really and suddenly he has opened the door a little bit that lead is down to three important drive this for rory didn't exactly hold back did he got to find the fire the fairway He's missed it into the desert waste area. This is the uh, pinpoint showing the drives at the six. And McElroy's main difficulty here is just it's a very small target. It's only a short shot, and he's got a good line, nothing in the way. Just got to get some height and try and get some spin off this good lie. Nine iron. Well, a long way from the pin, but he's, uh, as they say, on the dance floor. Good time for a, a solid par and move on. Pretty clean contact, which it had to be. I think it, it looks as if it wants to go a little bit left to right to start with, and then I think right to left at the flag. Beautiful weight. It's 
So he will remain one under for today's round, which overall isn't bad. Doesn't obviously tell the whole story. Double bogey at the fifth. Well, that's a very good four in the circumstances, Steve, isn't it? Well, he's back on track. He misjudged this one yesterday, didn't he? Left it on the water. Well, he, just, he put a bad swing on it. He came up well short and well left. Only just got it over the water. He'll have forgotten about that. Starts this one much further right, trying to draw it in, but I think he's left it out there a bit. Yeah, that's OK. Especially when you've got the silky putting touch that uh, McElroy has. Green looks as though it wants to move it a little bit right to left. What little grain there is. Very good speed, that. Certainly had eyes for the hole. Uh, this man has uh, something to say about that. Tessa, though. Oh. Right in the middle. I like the way he's keeping the same routine. They talk about uh, having a routine, but he sticks to his guns. He doesn't waste too much time over it. Now, where is uh, McElroy? He's in the, the rough on the right, the waste area on the right. But the question is, as it was with Richard Green a moment or two ago, how does it lie? Well, he's not very far to go to the green. Get it over the front bunker and keep it on the green. Maybe looking at the front bunker. Really side to cross it, try to keep the blade of the club open as he chopped on the back of it. Trying to encourage a little bit of slice spin to it. So help to get it to stop. for McElroy and that is going to be a real test. He's got the putt that Stenson left short for his birdie. Maybe a fraction inside left edge, depending on the pace. And this is where the gremlins start to work. Got off to a fantastic start. Everything was all flowing, birdie, birdie, birdie. And now suddenly over the last four holes, double bogey, couple of pars, now another bogey. There's still a bit of run there. Turn a little, turn a little. We saw Stenson with the three wood. He only just made it to the bunker, and that flew over the right-hand corner of the bunker with the three wood. Massive tee shot. Just a wedge for Rory. 141 to the flag. player in the top 50 in the world rankings, the quickest player in the top 50 in the world rankings. Rory McIlroy was talking earlier in the week when he was Marco Mira's playing partner about watching Marco Mira playing in the world match play. Got his ball after he hauled out from the sand and he was nine years old at the time and a couple of months later went off and won the World Under 10s Championship. <laughs> Wonderful memories. Gosh, I wonder how many he won that by. Beautiful uh, impact position there, squeezing right down on top of the ball. Really gets a lot of pressure on the club face on ball at impact. A little right to left for Rory's very makeable birdie out of the ninth. Business resumed for McElroy and a very important blow for him. Under par for the front nine and that 
will give him a lot of heart going towards a par five. The further you hit this drive on the tenth, the narrow it gets. But that certainly didn't stop either McElroy or West Hazen last night. They both whacked it straight down. The Just like that. <laughs> It's only an easy five iron for McElroy last night. It's got to be a six at the most this time. Just the 340-yard drive, that one. Oh. Well, it's a mistake. Luckily for McElroy, he's got plenty of green as well, because this ball actually has nestled down a little bit. It makes it just that bit harder. Normally, the ball tends to sit on top of this sand. Bound to run a bit. Handy dandy. Shouldn't be a problem, this, Julian. No, it shouldn't. It'll be a lovely sunset birdie, too. I think it's probably just straight and firm, should it? Birdie it is for the lead up. Should be able to, with a very short iron, land it on the same tier as the flag and hold it there. Straight at it. Fantastic. That's to go five ahead. Approaches his padding up Tiger Woods, it just looks so natural. The green has no bunkers around it, none needed really. Uh, the rough is pretty, uh, pretty tough and slightly uphill and usually into wind. And it is into wind now. The wind has switched round as it does in the middle of the day. Not that there's very much of it. For the first time today, Rose playing last. One yard longer off the tee, actually. It's probably just because he's taken a slightly tighter line. If you go right at the flag here, it's very easy to come up just a little bit short and spin it back down the slope. So left or right is probably a more sensible line. The, the spot that McElroy's gone for is a good one. As it runs out of steam, it should take a reasonable dive to the right. Look at this. <laughs> Never looked anywhere else. I'm trying to look at it. When it was making tracks towards the hole, I thought, well, could that miss on the right? No, miss on the right. No, it's only got to go one place. Extremely lucky here. Took driver was trying to take a big chunk off the corner, which is what West Hosen has done, but he didn't go far enough left. And he spanked that miles high. break it's uh, something quite apart to, to take advantage he's on the green oh, he's playing the shell Houston open and he'll make his debut at the Masters at Augusta National and look at this I think fair and safe to say 22 under Under par. Big crowds out in the desert there. That's my boys. Oh, he's had a, a low slinging hook here. He's showing off now. Have 
was almost a, a stinger, wasn't it? Very casual. You can see McElroy. Absolutely huge drive here at 14. McElroy. This will be gunning at the flag. little adrenaline in the system. It may have been it's a deceptive shot with the, the bunker at the front there. I think this breaks left to right to start with and then a bit of right to left at the end. the uh, towards the hole and a tribute really to the condition of the course that I was looking for that maybe to bubble a bit but not uh, one bubble at all very true can't afford to pitch it uh, shorter than that <laughs> well, wasn't quite so good, but um, dived in the hole that went in the right side didn't it left left half which was the top side of the cup Missing always towards the centre. Starts it quite well right, but drawing it in, it's got to go, it's a bit short. Can't stop going on those flags, can he? Difficult shot here for tournament leader McElroy off the side of the bank. <laughs> and with such a big lead, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Putting into the sun, which is starting to get a little bit lower in the sky but it's not a problem yet certainly not like it was last night when it's right down low in their eyes this is a putt he would really like to make he's missed these short ones before he's not going to rush into this one a million miles right that is off the planet well he needs a major stroke of luck now hope he's not writing the winner's speech so i wonder possibly late drama here in the desert i'd earn enough points to get into the essential world match play lots of subplots where is McElroy though? Mm. Deep in the trees or oh, just chipping out sideways? Ah, and not got it out. Uh, well, it, it, the first low one was a problem because it was on a footprint but, and there was a, a route behind it, so he had no choice but just to try and get it back on the fairway. And he had to hit it quite hard, so he got a bit too much. Elevation, but unlucky, I think, to catch the branch there. I think he was doing the right thing there. He was trying to take his medicine. But we've seen it before at this stage in a tournament when he's in contention. He does, he does get a bit jumpy, inevitably. Very excitable, wants to get on with it. Lifting left a bit. May have got a bit steep on that one. It seemed to stall in the wind a bit. Well, I suppose he could be looking at, at a six. Mm. 
So McElroy's now played one, two, three, four. It'll make a big difference to his equilibrium to make this one. Oh. That was a big, big putt for Rory McElroy. That was to avoid a second double bogey in the round. He gets away with the bogey, but it's two in a row. What a congratulations from Caddy JP. That was important. Maintains a little bit of a cushion between himself and Justin Rose. Now McElroy. Oh, where has that gone? Stop with your cameras, please. Put the camera away. Suggesting that he may have been disturbed by cameras. There's a huge stand to the left of this team, which is actually the one which looks onto the 18th green. And you would hate to think that that's what distracted him, but that went flying off right. I think he might have got away with it. He's definitely toned down the drive. He's not going at it as hard. The driver of the three would as almost as if he's playing softer shots, and that may well be affecting his timing. He's almost trying to steer it down there. Well, McElroy from there looks as if he's only just slipped off into the wasteland area, but again, it's a question of whether he's got a shot to the green and whether he's got a lie in that sand, not in a heel print. He can't go straight at the flag. I don't think he can get it up quick enough over the bush in front of him because it's just settled. It's in a footprint. It's not lying badly, but it's not right on top of the sand. But he can certainly get to the green. It's a really gusty, strong wind now that's blown up suddenly. Oh, hit the palm. Lucky to get through there, clattered it quite hard. Now he may do well to get birdie. Pato for McElroy. He's going to have that for par. to the 18th tee. He leads by just one shot. McElroy. That's more like the way that he's been going at his tee shots for the majority of this tournament, and it's a humdinger. Oh, all credit to Rory McElroy. Butterflies must have been on a trampoline in his stomach there. But he's got away an absolute beauty. This is a good move for McElroy. He lays it up shorter than okay. Justin Rose. <laughs> Rory McElroy at one point, six shots clear. That lead now down to one. They're both laid up at the 18th. Spin as much as it likes. That probably wasn't the shot. Well, JP was telling him to go left, but he didn't want to do it. Again, it's that adrenaline in the system. Well, the question now is how much does Rose risk? Very tough to control it out of this lie. Playing it with a lot of right hand release. Make sure he takes plenty of sand. Pop it up, run it down.
first day, heading up to be the fifth wire-to-wire -wire winner of the tournament. Stunning start to his professional career, and this for his first tournament win. He's got it. <laughs> My goodness, he gave us some drama along the way. But Roy McIlroy is a winner of the European Tour, and it's relief as much as anything else. 19 years and 273 days, 37th event as a pro. And Justin knows what that means to him. Huge relief, a lot of inbuilt pressure that he wanted to win his first event. And he handles it all so well, Warren, doesn't he? He's 19 years old. I don't know what you were like at 19, but uh, he's a very mature and very likeable young man. To watch another European Tour video, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.